to the roads. In addition to all that traffic, drivers are dealing with the highest gas prices since 2014. President Biden, of course, announcing that move to tap into the country's strategic oil reserve, promising lower prices soon. Ariel Reshef is live now with more on this. Ariel, you know this. Critics are saying this is just a short-term fix. Yeah, good morning to you, Cecilia. Those price drops can't come soon enough for the 48 million people that are set to hit the roads this Thanksgiving, according to AAA. Many of them on their way right now, some paying as much as $3.40 a gallon to fill up. That's the national average, but some out in California spending as much as $4.70 to fill up this Thanksgiving. The good news is the president's move to tap into those strategic oil reserves could cut the price of gas by up to 15 cents. The bad news is, of course, this won't happen over Night, the administration acknowledging this could take several weeks to take hold. And just to put this in some perspective, on average, the U.S. used about 18 million barrels of oil per day last year. So some analysts are skeptical this could offer any long-term relief. Cecilia? Okay, Ariel, I know you have the magic answer. So for folks who do want to hit the road, when do they need to leave? What's the best time? So the best time if you're heading out today is after 9 p.m. The worst times between noon and 8 p.m. If you are heading out on Thanksgiving, try to do it before 11 a.m. And if you're trying to fl flee your family, maybe on <laughs> Saturday or Sunday, try to do it before noon. Cecilia? Good tips there. Okay, Ariel, thanks. We're going to take a live look right now on those roads, to, at those roads. Look right here over New York City. The area over New York City, WABC's chopper. Helicopter reporter Don J John Del Giorno has a bird's eye view. Hey, John. Cecilia, you're looking at the I-95 corridor near the George Washington Bridge. Authorities expect more than 3.5 million people to use the bridges and tunnels between New York and New Jersey this weekend. This would be just below pre-pandemic levels. In fact, traffic at these bridges and tunnels has been running at more than 97 percent of the volume it was in 2019. Area rail traffic is not quite at that level. So what that tells you is that people prefer to use their cars for the holiday. What that means is traffic on these roadways at near normal levels with the peak starting in the middle of this afternoon. Back to you, Whit. All right, John, we're seeing that traffic already from above there. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.